Uh, hey everybody, Mrs. Bear here. Um, I'm not feeling very well today. I know some of you knew I wasn't doing well yesterday, um, but I am still not doing 100%, so I've opted to stay home. But you still have lots of work that you need to accomplish. So let's take a look at what I need you to get done today. So first and foremost, let's look at this giant red box right here or red box, yellow box. Um, you'll notice the English one plans form. Um, many of you still need to finish that. This, um, period seven, you all need to do this. Period five and six, most of you did this yesterday, but if for some reason you didn't get this finished, please make sure that you uh, accomplish that first today. Um, and make sure that you notice that this question is asking which one you are most interested in doing. And this question is asking which one you are least interested in doing. Uh, so make sure that you answer them appropriately. So that's step one. So do that first, get it done. Then um, you're going to move on to your essay. Uh, many students still need to finalize things. So for students who initially finished their essay and turned it in, you're on the revision process. Many of you started doing this yesterday, but for those of you who have not started, period seven especially, uh, this is the steps. So on your computer, you need to open this peer and self-review. You also need to make sure that you have your essay open. So have both these things open. Then come down to where it says email and type in your school email, first and foremost, and then stop, okay? <laughs> After you stop typing your email in, you're going to give your computer, actually pick up your computer, pass it to, somebody and they are going to read your essay and fill in this peer review about your essay. The reason for your email address is so that way you can get the responses sent to you um, after they are done and then you'll be able to look at what they said about your essay. That is the second thing you do after completing the English One plans. Once you have done the peer review of someone else, you're going to get your computer back. So after you've handed it off, they'll give you the computer back and then you're going to do the self review. Um, same process. You're going to use the same form that you just used for the peer review, but this time you're going to do it for yourself and grade your own essay, um, just like you graded the other student's essay. One thing um, I need to, rem uh, sorry, just had a brain freeze. One thing I need to tell you about with this peer and self-review, when you see the question about the counterclaim, just ignore it. Um, and actually, I'll probably just take that out in just a moment. Uh, that was a mistake from um, copying from English too. So just ignore anything about the counterclaim. All right. Once you are done with your self review, then please do the following. Review what you wrote about your essay. Review what the other person wrote about your essay. Ask them any questions that you need to, and then make revisions make your essay better, make it better, make it better, make it better. Make sure that everything is in the right font. Make sure that everything is in the right format. Make sure it's in third person. Make sure there's no extra spaces. Make sure it's perfect. And then click submit in order to grade it. So if we look here at where it says in this yellow box, any essay that is not finished today will end up being marked missing for parent teacher conferences. So get things done for those students that have not finished their essay, get it done, get it done, get it done. When you're ready, complete the self review and then submit your essay. Parent teacher conferences are on Friday. So it's really important that you get your essay completed.
All right. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Um, if you need my help with anything, send me an email today. Um, I don't know how much I'll be online, but uh, you can always try sending me an email. Um, and I'll respond hopefully soon. All right. Um, I hope you all have a great day. I hope I'll be back in the building tomorrow because I really don't like being away from all of you for any great period of time, especially when we're writing essays, Uh, but do what you need to do. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye everybody.